This is Nick Edmund, uh, Richmond Scientific, just uh, showing you the Penske Martin Flashpoint tester that we've got here. So what I'm now going to do is switch the um, switch the instrument, the power on. Uh, hopefully you can see that that's switched on now. What I'm now going to do is switch the drive on. You can see the drive uh, rotating there. So uh, that's moving merrily away there in the centre. Okay, if we just switch that off. The beauty with this is, is that you can change the method and you can check, put it onto different ones. So um, that's a very simple mechanism there that fits in here. It goes onto that one. And that's obviously fast, so you've got a slow speed and a faster speed there. Hopefully you can see that. I'll just zoom out a little bit here. Uh, hopefully you can make that fairly clear there in terms of the speed. So we'll turn the speed off. We've got a um, heated control at the bottom here, which heats the um, the jacket that the uh, um, the pot goes into. So that's variable there, and you can see that that's variable. Condition of it doesn't look like it's had a massive amount of use to me. It's made by CETA, a well-known manufacturer of this sort of equipment. Uh, ideal for uh, testing, um, um, well, flashpoint basically, and a lot of material. So it's a standard test. What I'm now going to do is just um, dismantle the uh, apparatus so you can actually see the uh, the individual parts. So the first thing I'll do is take uh, this particular uh, drive out of here like this. And this comes out of here, so I'll we'll just take that out there. What we'll now do is remove the uh, pan, which hopefully you can see there. That's a copper pan. That's uh, happily heating up there. I'm going to put my finger in it, but I can tell you now that that's pretty hot in there. Okay, so we've got the um, the impeller here, which is uh, straight and is in good order. Hopefully you can see that there. That's spinning freely. It's not running eccentrically or anything like that. So that goes into here like this. That fits in snugly there. See that that doesn't move. This moves around. As you can see there. Okay. So. Hopefully that gives you some sort of an insight into the instrument. So I'll just put this back on here. That fits into that there. And this goes on to here, like this. Switch it, uh, switch the drive on. You can see there again. Okay, so that's uh, Nick Edmund, Richmond Scientific, signing off. Thank you.